Hi boys and girls, I'm Miss Sparkle and this is Rosie Posey. Today we're going to read a story called Bear Says Thanks. Bear Says Thanks by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. All alone in his cave, Bear listened to the wind. He is bored, bored, bored and he misses his friends. I could make a big dinner, a feast I could share. But he looked through his cupboard and his cupboard is bare. Then Mouse stops by with a huckleberry pie and the bear says, thanks. Bear says, goodness me, a delectable pie. But I have made nothing, he adds with a sigh. Then they hear, ha ho! And they both see air with a big batch of muffins at the door of the lair. Hare hurries in from the cold, rushing wind, and the bear says, thanks. Of course, says Hare. Then he points to the door. Here comes Badger. He's got even more. Brrr, says Badger, as he trots inside. He sits down his pole, and he smiles real wide. I'm back from a stroll at the old fishing hole. And the bear says, thanks. Then gopher and mole tunnel up from the ground. We have warm honey nuts. Let's pass them around. There's a flap and a flitter and a flurry in the den when in flutters Owl with Raven and Wren. We have pears from the tree and herbs to brew tree. And the bear says, wait. Bear mutters and he stutters and he wears a big frown. Bear sighs and he moans and he plops himself down. You have brought yummy treats. You are so nice to share. But me, I have nothing. My cupboards are bare. Mouse squeaks. No fret. There's enough, dear bear. You don't need any food. You have stories to share. His friends hug him tight. It will be all right. And the bear says, thanks. This one. They lay out their feast on a quilt on the ground and the bear takes a seat while his friends gather around. In a cave in the woods, in a warm, bright lair, the friends feel grateful for their good friend, Bear. They pass around platters, they tweet and they chatter. And they all say, thanks. Boys and girls, look, they're all holding hands. They're all giving thanks for everything they have. Oh. We are going to learn a Thanksgiving song first, and it's gonna go with all of the things in our book. So our craft today, or our activity, has all of these things on it. It has the bear, the mouse, the rabbit, the badger, the mole and the gopher, the wren and the owl and the crow, but it also has the fish 
and a pear and nuts and a pie and a muffin and a blanket. So the song we're gonna sing, I'm gonna sing it and then you repeat it, okay? So I'm gonna get me a little turkey right here. My little turkey, it's gonna be my little repeater, okay? And we're gonna go, we're gonna give thanks to all these things about smelling Thanksgiving. So the real song goes like this. Smells like Thanksgiving, smells like Thanksgiving. Mmm, so good, mm, so good. I can smell the turkey, I can smell the turkey. I can smell the pie, I can smell the pie. On Thanksgiving day, on Thanksgiving day. But since we did all of these things, their Thanksgiving was a little bit different, wasn't it? Their Thanksgiving had fish and a pear and nuts and a pie and a muffin. So I'm gonna sing and you repeat. Smells like Thanksgiving, smells like Thanksgiving. Mmm, so good, mmm, so good. I can smell the fish, I can smell the fish. I can smell the pear, I can smell the pear. I can smell the nuts, I can smell the nuts. I can smell the pie, I can smell the pie. I can smell the muffin. On Thanksgiving Day, on Thanksgiving Day, on Thanksgiving Day. All righty. So, little turkey, you want to help us color here? This is going to be a fun activity. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to think about the story and everything about the story and who brought what to the cave that Bear lived in. So remember, Bear didn't have any food, did he? His cupboards were bare, but all of the animals brought things, didn't they? So with your light colored crayon, maybe with the yellow, maybe with the pink, maybe with something, a, a light, light color, maybe a peach. I want you to think about what you think happened in the story. So we know that Bear had the blanket. So we're gonna draw a line from Bear to the blanket, okay? Now, without me helping, I want you to do the rest with the light colored crayon. And then in a minute, we're gonna go through the story again, and we're gonna decide if you chose correctly or if you need to use a dark color and redo your line. So that's why we use the light color first. So who remembers what mouse brought? Did mouse bring a fish, pears, nuts, a pie, or a muffin? So draw a line from the mouse to what you think mouse brought. Now, what did rabbit bring? What did rabbit bring? Ooh, draw a line to what rabbit brought. Next is badger. What did badger bring? Draw a line to what badger brought. And next is the mole and the gopher. What did they bring? They brought something together. Draw a line. And lastly, the birds. What did the birds bring? Draw a line. Okay, so you should have all the lines drawn with a light colored crayon. Now with a darker crayon, maybe black or blue, we're gonna see if you were correct or if we need to go back and redo and see if uh, maybe you need to think about that story again. So, let's move the turkey right here. Bear says thanks. Okay. Look, his cupboards were bare. And in comes Mouse with a huckleberry pie. So the mouse needed to bring in the pie. Did you get that right? Did you draw a line from the mouse to the pie? If you didn't, use your dark crayon and make sure that you get it correct, okay? 
And then next, let's see. In comes hair, the bunny rabbit, right? With what? Muffins! So the bunny rabbit, the hare, that's two names for a bunny, right? A hare? The hare brought muffins. So I'm going to draw a line from the hare to the muffins. And next, ooh, look, that's good stuff. <gasps> what badger bring? Badger brought fish. So let's draw a line from the badger to the fish. Fish. Okay. And then gopher and mole tunneled up and they brought warm honey nuts. That's right. So draw a line from them all the way to the nuts. Oh, sorry, turkey. And then the Al and Raven and Wren, they brought pears and herbs to brew tea, but we didn't have tea. We just did the pear. So all the birds bring the pear, the pears. And remember, poor bear, remember he says, wait. And he was so sad. Look at him. He was so sad because he said he had nothing. His cupboards were bare. But Mouse said, what? Don't fret, there's enough. You don't need any food. You have stories to share. Bear had lots of fine stories to share. So, but in his cave, what did he have? He had a blanket to share, didn't he? So maybe not food, but he had a blanket. So look, I just made my, just went over my line. And so they're all on the correct things. Now, we're gonna color. Of course we're gonna color, because I love to color. I'm gonna color my bear brown, just like in the story. And I'm gonna color him, let's see, this kind of brown. Smells like Thanksgiving. Mm, so good, so good. I can smell the fish. I can smell the fish. I can smell the pears. I can smell the pears. I can smell the nuts. I can smell the nuts. I can smell the pie. I can smell the pie. I can smell the muffins. I can smell the muffins. On Thanksgiving Day, on Thanksgiving Day, So do you like echo songs where one person sings and then the other one repeats? I love echo songs. I think they're so fun. Okay, and then we have a little mouse and I'm gonna color the mouse gray. And in the story, the bunny was kind of a whitish cream. So I'm gonna try to find a cream now, if you don't have a cream, you could just do a, you could do a uh, brown, super, super light. So this is a brown, but I'm gonna make it light. Just super light. You can barely see it. But the inside of my ears, I wanna make them pink. Cause I like pink bunny ears. Makes me happy. Oh, and there's Badger. Let's look how Badger looks. Now, do you have to make Badger just like um, he really is? Or can you make Badger fun? Could you make a purple Badger? Sure, you could. But I want my Badger to kind of look real. Ooh, so this part up here is brown on this Badger. Let's see. This little top thing is brown. Ooh, that's hard to color. And this little thing is brown. And his legs were black. Oh, not blue. I 
That'd be funny if I was trying to make him look real, huh? His, his uh, legs were black and his feet. Oh, he's kind of grayish. So I'm gonna make that black. Ooh, super light. Ooh, that kind of made it look kind of gray. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, look right here. Go for a mole. How oh, cute. Okay, so this has to have a pink nose and pink feet and a black body. I hope yours is looking so cute. And Gopher was brown. I'm gonna choose a different kind of brown. Color this kind of a lighter brown. And his belly was white. I'm gonna keep his belly white. Cute, cute. And then there's my crow. My crow is black. Oh, there's a crow right there, black. A black crow. This crow even had black feet. Look at that in the book. An owl, look at the owl. So cute, so cute. So I'll make a little different shades of browns you know want a yellow beak maybe um, this kind of belly hair oh I want this little claws to be yellow too this little feet. And don't forget about the wren. So the wren's not in that picture. Oh, there's the wren. It's over here. And then in this page, I think we see wren again. There's wren again. Look at his little cute little tail. It has a different color, black and white tail. So my body's kind of brown. My tail's black and white. I'm gonna do stripes. There we go. Little yellow feet. Okay, then I'm gonna color my fish. I'm going to make, let's see, what they make the fish in the book? Let's see here. The fish in the book. Book. Oh, they were kind of gray and pinkish. I think I'm going to make mine like the book, but you don't have to. I'm going to make the underside pink. Pink's my favorite color, remember? What's your favorite color? I have to say, I love all the colors of the rainbow. And I love pink, turquoise, like lots of different pinks. And then the pear, I'm gonna make a green color. My stem is going to be brown. My leaf is going to be dark green. And then my nuts. What did they call them? They called them warm honey nuts. Mmm, they might have just toasted them. Mmm, that would be delicious. 
warm honey nuts. Color our nuts. And then this was a the pie. Remember, he brought that yummy little, but it was a little mouse that brought it. So it was so tiny. Can you imagine how tiny that pie was? But how how sweet to share. But since it's um a huckleberry pie, I'm gonna make some, I'm gonna make this right here bluish. And then the top brown because I want I want it to look like some huckleberry juice is kind of coming out of it. Ooh, that looks delicious. Mm -mm -mm. In the pan, I'm gonna do silver and the muffin. I'm going to make mine a strawberry muffin. I'm going to make mine have strawberries. The muffins in the story, I think, are so tiny. Right there. Oh, maybe those are chocolate chips, but I wanted strawberry. I wanted strawberry ones. So I made strawberry, and then I'm going to make super light. It got to Beautifully golden brown, delicious to eat. Mm. And then look at look at the blanket that Bear has. Oh, it's so beautiful. All those different blue colors in it. All those blues. And then there's some red. I think the red might have been the um, one of the little things that the animals brought, but you could put red in your blanket. I'm going to make mine all different kinds of blues. I'm going to make it different kinds of blues here and there. Just want it to be beautiful. Now you can make yours however you want. You might want to make yours all kinds of pinks and uh, purples. Who knows? That. Ooh, this is looking pretty neat. Makes me think of the one he brought or he had at the house. One more, one more blue. Ooh, that's kind of a dark blue. That's really pretty. Oh, there's my blanket. And then I'm gonna put little tassels. Awesome. All righty. Boys and girls, how did your activity go? Wasn't that fun drawing all the lines? making sure all the animals brought the correct things, and then coloring. I bet yours is absolutely beautiful. I wish I could see it. Boys and girls, I hope you have a very, very happy Thanksgiving, and remember to give thanks. Whoever cooks the food, make sure you tell them thank you for cooking the food. Maybe you could help set the table or wash the plates afterwards, and you could be helpful at Thanksgiving. Until I see you next time, boys and girls. Peace, love, sparkles.